It's 6 o'clock. I'm Jeff Johnson, and it's right now minus 3 in the Elk Valley, minus 2 in Cranbrook. News is for Aaron, Sandor Rentals, and ABC Country Restaurant. There is some confusion surrounding the Kimberly Search and Rescue Society. While Search and Rescue is still operational, President John Stacewich says there was an issue a few months ago that led to them being dissolved. Kimberly Search and Rescue runs in two ways. We have an operational side and the board of directors who are the business end of the search and rescue. Um, we had a problem where we were late on our paperwork. So from the register of companies, we were dissolved. And then right now we are currently been reapplying to have our uh, status reinstated as a society. The society is still active and operational, but at the most recent Kimberley City Council meeting, another group calling themselves the Kimberley Search and Rescue Society came forward. They want to take up the job and get the equipment, but the current search and rescue is still supported by Emergency Management BC. Ottawa is poised to use legislation to get the trains rolling again at Canadian Pacific Railway, which has been strike-bound since early yesterday after contact track talks broke down in Montreal. About 3,300 locomotive engineers and other CP rail workers walked out in their push for better scheduling and working conditions to combat fatigue. And a government source says that federal legislation ordering Teamsters Union members back on the job will be tabled in Parliament this morning. Unions and community groups are renewing their demand for the minimum wage to be raised to $15 an hour. The BC Federation of Labour and Acorn Canada were among the groups that staged a protest in downtown Vancouver yesterday. Acorn Canada says it's calling for an end to the training wage and for servers to be paid the same minimum wage as everybody else. The National Organization of Moderate and Low-Income Families also wants the minimum wage to be indexed to the cost of living. Sports is for Gold Star Cleaning Services. Kuniak's forward Tim Bozon had the hat trick, including a goal in the final minute of the game to force overtime, but the Saskatoon Blades scored 24 seconds into the extra frame for a 5-4 win. 16-year-old Declan Hobbs made his first WHL start for the ice and made 25 saves. The ice finished their seven-game homestand with two wins and will visit Lethbridge tomorrow night. The Kimberley Dynamires beat the Golden Rockets 3-2 at the Civic Center in the regular season finale last night. And Justin Mayer, Jason Richter, and Brayden Soretsky had the goals for Kimberley, and goaltender Tyson Brower won his 25th game of the season between the pipes. And the Columbia Valley Rockies beat the Fernie Ghost Riders in overtime in their last game of the regular season Sunday. 3-2 was the final score in that game. Evan Reed and Spencer Bender had the goals for the Ghost Riders. This was the third matchup in three days between Fernie and Columbia Valley. The Ghost Riders beat the Rockets 5-4 on Saturday and 7-2 on Friday. The drive weather is for Grapes and Suds Brew. Now you can use your U Brew wine, beers, coolers, and ciders to serve at your wedding or family reunion. Start your batch today. Visit Grapes and Suds Brew on 8th Avenue South, Cranbrook. Today, mainly sunny with a high of plus 5, overnight few clouds, and a low of minus 6. Tuesday, mainly sunny, a high of plus 4. And the rest of the week, mix of sun and cloud, highs around plus 6. Right now, it's minus 3 in the Elk Valley, minus 2 in Cranbrook. I'm Jeff Johnson. It's 6.05. The Drive.